Impressive, huh? <laughs> Not really. Arnold is uh, taking about half an hour time to render this, maybe an hour, to render this image. Um, this is a one-to-one -one resolution. I can, uh, while Arnold is rendering, it's currently cleaning up this part, I think. Uh, while Arnold is rendering, I must not press the spacebar or change anything in the scene file behind it. Uh, but I can navigate in that window using the Alt and the middle mouse button here. So um, this is a, uh, a mixture between two fluids. One is uh, liquid gold, which you see represented here, and the other one is uh, water, which is right here. Uh, as I said, this is the one by one resolution now, but I can of course move away. So this is going to be the whole image here. And uh, the reason why it takes so long to render is because it renders with depth of field. And that's what I'm going to show you now. I minimize this window uh, and I just explain the scene without moving the camera because when I move the cam camera the rendering will update accordingly and uh, <laughs> I have to restart again. Okay, so um, this, is the, this is the scene here. I go to the uh, lock the, uh, that view of the rendering camera I go to the perspective camera. This is the camera which is actually rendering the scene now. And uh, I have two liquids, and I won't rewind the simulation now, two liquids. Uh, one is gold uh, and one is uh, water, so di two different shaders. And um, the gravitation is slightly different. Uh, I have the standard gravitation for the gold, which is 9.8. And I have a gravitation of, I think, four or three for the water, so the water falls down more slowly, so the two uh, things mix with, with each other uh, slightly, uh, rather than falling down at the same speed. Uh, where is the um, depth of field? It's in the camera. It's this perspective camera here, which I created. It's not that one. It's, it's the, that camera here. Um, I needed to introduce a locator, here it is, which gives me a hint about the distance of the camera to uh, the front of this whole arrangement here. And I see this in the viewport here, in the heads-up display, you find it under display, heads-up display and object details. Once you activate this, uh, you see um, when you click on whatever object you like, this is the locator in this case, the distance which is currently uh, 0 0.9. So when I go to the perspective camera here in the outliner, um, I find the Arnold section down here. You open it, uh, there's a depth of field uh, section here. And um, the focal distance currently, I tried it out with 0 0.9. It uh, only uh, puts the very close by details into focus. So I tried out a little bit of focusing and the focus distance of 2 seems to work quite nicely and an aperture size of uh, 0 0.3. This is a very sensitive value. When you pump it up um, more, which means basically a very, very shallow depth of field, which is n nice aesthetically. But, uh, well, that's, that's all I wanted to say about this scene. Um, of course, you can render it with motion blur as well, but uh, this is, uh, the, these structures here are quite nice and it takes a while to render and I'll show you the result later.